Welcome to the World Cup, Travis. Uh, just firstly, just to be part of that game, uh, you know, the highest ever scoring World Cup match and all that. What was it like in the last uh, five, ten minutes of it? Uh, yeah, oh, pretty. I, was, I, was, I felt pretty confident still, but um, yeah, what a fixture. Um, nice to be involved in it. Um, very high scoring. Um, yeah, had a little sniff at the end there, but yeah, we held a nerve really, really well in a, in a high pressure situation, so it was nice. Uh, and just about your innings in that partnership, uh, I mean, that's how you guys have been batting for a while, but just to sustain it over 14, 15 overs, uh, did it just come off? Was it a game plan? Uh, oh, we've, all, we've been pretty aggressive, I think, in the partnership with David and I. And um, yeah, I think you still got to give yourself the best chance. Obviously, it was nice to get two free hits in a row myself to sort of get me away. And um, yeah, I felt like I've said it for a few months. I think Davey's the same. If the runs are going to be presented, we're going to try and take him. We're going to try and be positive. And yeah, nice to come off, nice to set a platform and and get 390. Um, I think we take that every day. So um, yeah, awesome start. That's so I'm guessing it didn't take much convincing to get you to open. No, definitely not. Um, <laughs> I think that's been a spot that I, I guess waited for. Obviously, with Finchy playing for such a, a long period and, and their, their partnership being so good and the limited chance they had, I was able to take and sort of waited a, a couple of years for that spot to open up. So um, that's never guaranteed and, and I've got to perform and I'm lucky enough to be able to, yeah, put a string of few performances together to hopefully make that a spot where um, Dave and I have obviously got a great partnership, but um, the next guy, whether that be Mitchell or whoever, so, yeah. Um, Travis, back to the end of the game for a moment. In a, in a position like that in the field, are you praying for the ball to come to you or are you praying for it not to come to you? Um, well, as you can probably tell today, I've, I've, I've been given a bit of a chance to, to sort of move, give myself the best chance to give myself a, a chance to see the ball. Obviously, we're coming back from the hand. So, um, yeah, I didn't expect it coming to me at all, really. So, um, prepared for it, but we went in to be underdone and we're going to probably, there was going to be risk associated with playing last game because I didn't know how it was going to react in the field. Um, and then we'll get to a stage where we've got to pull the trigger at some point. So, um, why not be tonight? And so nice to get back with the boys. But yeah, we probably just missed a couple of extra days that we could have done with before the Netherlands. But we knew that going into it. It's probably 50 50 last game, 75% this game, and 100% for England. So, and that was six weeks ago. So we, we, got, we got there in the end. And um, yeah, nice. It's, uh, it's healed and did the right things and, and was able to get back. Travis, well played today. It seems like a day for left handers. Yourself, David, Rachin. Nisham, um, but coming to your bowling, was there any discussion in the middle out there saying, give me the ball with the captain when people were travelling a bit? Um, oh, yeah, I was always open to it. Um, there's always discussions around it, so, um, but uh, no, I felt like the way he moved him around, tried to get blokes back in the game, um, and yeah, I thought he moved his bowlers around really, really well. There's obviously, there's so many different combinations that you could use, and I think that's what makes um, our lineup. Uh, at the moment, strong with their all-rounders and, and plenty of options. So, um, but I thought the way Pat did it today, um, the composure at the end, and, and the way he used these guys was um, exceptional. And why we end up getting over the line, so it's good. Trav, um, we're just coming into the World Cup, the leadership practically made a decision saying we'll choose from 14 for half of the tournament because we want Trav there. Um, it's it's a great vote of confidence, but does it also bring any pressure, A, in the, during the recovery and B, when you finally come back? Uh, no, I didn't feel any pressure and I think that's, um, I guess, it just sums up with the way the decision was made for the Netherlands game. Obviously, everyone's very keen. I'm on, I'm on the ground. I feel like I was going well. Everyone's pretty keen and, and the decision making and, and the expectations are not weren't there. So. If it wasn't right, I wasn't playing, and, and we we're going to at the stage. And but definitely at home, it was nice to be kept in the squad. Uh, uh, I understood a lot of things had to go right, and um, personally and with the team. So, um, and then no, pre I didn't really feel the pressure today. I just want to come out and play and contribute. So whether that be in tonight, whether that be against England or or in the last two games. So at some stage, you want to step up. Um, it's nice to do it straight away, and then hopefully I can and roll on to that until the next three, and then hopefully finals. Hey, Trav, uh, it seemed like you were uh, timing the ball right from the start of the, your innings today. And obviously, the, I'm sure the free hits help. But did you almost surprise yourself with how crisply it was working right from the start? Um, yeah, after a while, bad over the last little week, um, probably a little bit. Um, the free hits definitely helped. Um, just in a mindset way around 
movement and obviously taking that next step. So after a couple of I think a couple of hits in the nets at full tilt, um, and the training with his are a lot different than the in the middle. So um, no, there's always say a mindset there, but um, yeah, nice to get a few out of the middle at the start, and then um, yeah, I just loved getting into the contest today, and, and I felt like that was going to always happen um, in terms of the hand. Like once I got into the game and everything, that it was sort of would go to the back of my mind and. Um, yeah, but nice to nice to spend some time out there at the start of the tournament.